All right, so today I'm going fossil hunting in a Texas creek that has Cretaceous fossils in it, and uh, I'm feeling pretty optimistic because the creek has flooded recently, but it is way too cold for other people to be out there. I'm just mentally insane, so I'm going out there, and uh, let's see if we find some cool stuff. The gravel here is literally frozen. Like, it's ridiculous. I find something, I guess. All right, that looked like the first find of the day. Probably a bovid tooth. Nice. This is a bison tooth. Probably Holocene, not Pleistocene. Regardless, it's a cool find though. This is the back of a drill. So this is a napped tool. I don't know how old it would be. And I kind of wish it was complete. There would have been a long part sticking out where my pinky is. But that is so cool. Nice. The roots are broken, unfortunately. But, I mean, the blade is in great condition. So cool. Scapnorhynchus shares so many similarities with modern goblin sharks, which is uh, Mitsukarina, the genus name, if I remember that correctly, that some have suggested that goblin sharks today get reclassified as Scapnorhynchus, and I'm not really too sure why they don't. Their teeth look very similar. Um, I've heard it said that goblin sharks have more grasping teeth, whereas Scapnorhynchus, their teeth are more meant for cutting, but their body shape is practically identical. The only other difference I can think of is that goblin sharks today are deep water creatures whereas Scapinorhynchus was found in shallow waters as well. Look at that. That. <laughs> wow. That looks like an atlatl point. <sighs> that is beautiful. There is no way that I just found another arrowhead like 15 minutes later. What? Oh my god. Wow, that is so cool. Now, it'd be technically incorrect to call this an arrowhead. This is actually the spear point that would have tipped an atlatl. So an atlatl is the throwing mechanism that predates bone arrows and it's used to throw spears or darts or they go by miscellaneous names. So this, while it is on the smaller end, probably comes from an atlatl instead. It's not every day that I see one of these. This is part of a Pleistocene mammal tooth. I actually don't know the origin yet. Maybe, maybe llama, maybe bison. It's not mammoth. This is actually starting to get unbelievable. Oh my God. Whew. That is awesome. Yesterday was successful but limited. I didn't go in the water because it was too cold, but today I'm back at it again, and this time I'm at a site where I don't need to wade through anything because I'll be digging through the strata behind me, and that means the fossils that I find are going to be well-preserved rather than tumbled through water currents, so I'm optimistic. Oh, is that a, I just found a little squally Corax tooth. Nice. Is this gonna be able to focus? I'll show a closer view. Oh, I dropped it. That is a little squally Corax tooth. It's the only Cretaceous lamniform with serrations. So it makes ID pretty easy. Look at that. That is so cool. And in such a scenic spot as well, I love it. There's another tooth right there. Okay, here it is removed. That is so cool. That is not something you see every day. It's a piece of an ammonite. You usually don't find it in this strata.
guys, this, I am freaking out. Look at the size of that thing. That is insane. This is the biggest Tychotis tooth I have ever found. Oh my God, it's super worn, but that's okay. That's a species of Tychotis I haven't found before. I think it's Tychotis latissimus, and I've never seen one of that size online or anywhere. I'm just, oh, that's, it's awesome. I have no words. All right, that's not too bad. A little eroded ammonite segment. All right, this is fossilized bone. I don't know its origin. Still cool though. I think that that is a tooth. Let's see. Yeah, it is. It's extremely weathered, but a tooth nonetheless. I can't even tell the genus. It's either Crotoxyrhina or Scapinorhynchus. Hard to say. These mystery bone chunks just keep popping up. I don't know the origin of this one either. I can't actually even tell if it's fish or marine reptile. It's so weird. Man, this day is getting better and better. That is a Mosasaur vertebra. Oh my God. I cannot get over how cool this is. An absolute sea monster with its remains just lying in this creek. That is awesome. One weird thing is how many vultures just watched me find that. I don't know why they're all over the place. I might come across a corpse or something. Some of these pyrite nodules are out of this world. That is so cool. I was just starting to walk back and look what I found. A beautiful Tychotis mortini. Man, that is stunning. That is so beautiful. This is one of the best Tychotis mortini teeth I have ever found in my life. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh my God. What's interesting is that during the ice age, there were camels native to North America. They're extinct now. This is from the genus Camelops. But why they're interesting though is much cooler. The camels native to the Western hemisphere today are like related to llamas and alpacas and whatnot. This is a true camel. In fact, camels originated in North America. This is one of those last descendants.